Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out this really cool 3D waypoint which allows you to replace the default GTA 5M waypoint with this really cool 3D one which you can see in the sky which I think is just a really cool thing. It's also free so thank you to the author for making this free because I can't find like any free resources anymore. Anyway in order to download and install this they have an overview video if you want to check that out as well but we're going to be going over an overview later on in the video. Um, but if you want to go ahead and check it out all you have to do is go ahead and go to the resource page linked at the top of the description and go ahead and download the latest file this will take you to github and if you don't know how to download from github yet if they don't have releases which this resource does not you'll just click the big green button and download the zip file and you'll open this up with winzip 7zip uh, winrar whatever you use to open it up i'm using winrar in my case and then you're just going to go to wherever you have your resources and in my case it's just in my server data resources folder this could be named differently depending on your host um, i know a lot of people who don't have the server data folder and just have the resources folder but it's wherever all your resources are stored so just keep that in mind for all your future resources source installs. Anyway, to install this, you can see inside here, you got the client and the FS manifest. So all you have to do is go ahead and drag in this whole folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rename this folder. So I get rid of the dash master because that's something GitHub adds. So it's just called waypoint week. And then inside here, you can see you got your client file and then the config.lula. Inside the config.lula, it gives you some, um, just the normal colors and should it be scaled with the screen. Uh, if you set it to false, uh, it just improves the performance a little bit, but not really that much. Um, so anyway, now all we have to do is go up to your server.cfg file. In my case, it's in my server data folder, but it could be anywhere. And then inside of your server data server.cfg file, you're just gonna type ensure, and then whatever the name of that folder was. In our case, it's waypoint. It says either ensure or start, depending on whatever uh, version of the artifacts you have, but just put whatever you have here. And then go ahead and start your server, however you start your server. And in order to make it loaded up correctly, check your console and see started resource waypoint. So now we know it has started up correctly. We're gonna hop in game, check it out. Let's go see. All right, so now that we are in game to go ahead and test this out, all we're gonna have to do is go ahead and press escape, set a waypoint to somewhere. I'm just gonna set it down the road. And then if we look over down the road, make sure you're looking the right way, you can see it in the sky over there and it will adjust depending on your position. So if I drive closer, the waypoint is actually gonna go slowly down as I get closer, which is actually a really, really nice feature. Clearly I can't drive a car today. While we wait, you can see it's going down the closer I get to it so you can tell how far away you actually are and it leaves the waypoint on the mini map as well as if you drive better like that um real quick before i make it to the waypoint please consider subscribing if you are new here it means a lot um we're getting very close to 5,000 subscribers and it would be great to hit that in the next few weeks um it would also be great if you would be um if you are interested in joining our membership program and then you can see as we get closer it just goes through the ground because it disappears because we arrived and if we somehow go farther away it will slowly go back up out of the ground very very cool anyway if you are using this resource please um go ahead and let me know down in the comments it would be great to know and if you have resources you want me to review in the future let me know as well i really like this i'm going to be using it on my server when i'm recording and i think it will work out quite well thank you all so much for watching my name is noodles i will see you in two days for the next video goodbye all <laughs>